CC Mr. Smoothie is a pretty wild effect and we can find it under the stylized category. The way that this effect works is by sampling colors from one layer between two points and then remapping the colors between those two points to another layer. It can create some really psychedelic looking effects. So let's talk about how it's actually working. The first option we have to set is the flow layer. And this is actually the layer that it's going to display. So by default, it's set to the photo that I've applied it to. So we're seeing colors being remapped on top of that photo, but I could change this to a different layer. So I've made a second layer here that's just a rainbow of colors and it's made with a gradient ramp and then Colorama with default settings and then the posterize effect to turn it into solid blocks of color. I'm gonna choose that as my flow layer and make sure to change my source to effects and masks so it takes those effects into account. And we're now seeing those blocks of color showing up within the CC Mr. Smoothie effect. So we're throwing out all the pixel data of this photo, but taking the color data between these two points and remapping it to this gradient. And that's pretty confusing at first. So let me back up and talk through it a bit. So with this back at its default, we're seeing the original photo with remapped colors. I'm just going to disable the effect for a second and show you these two point controls, sample A and sample B. CC Mr. Smoothie is going to look at the colors between these two points and remap all of the colors between those two points like a gradient map on top of whatever flow layer we've selected. So if I were to move this to this part of the yellow building and this to this part of the orange building and then turn the layer back on, all of the colors are now orange or yellow. Because if you drew a straight line between these two points without the effect on, we're only gonna get this yellowish color and then this reddish color. But watch what happens if I enable the effect and I just bring this point over to the left a little bit. See how this yellow is more saturated than here? As soon as I cross that threshold, it's going to start introducing that color into the gradient map on top of the original pixels. And if I were to bring this point up to where the sky is, well, then we're gonna get a lot of blue starting to be introduced into the image. So that's how Mr. Smoothie is interacting with the flow layer and the samples. But we have some other controls to manipulate this even further. First of all is the property. This is what the effect is basing the color map on, basically. So if I change this from luminance to say saturation, we're gonna get a very different looking effect. So let me see if I can get orange yellow and blue all in there. So that looks very different than if we were to just base it on the luminance values. And you could choose any one of these channels to base the color remapping on. I'm gonna change that back to luminance. Next up is smoothness, and this is just how smooth those colors are being remapped. So if I turn this way down, we're gonna get a very sharp, detailed view, and if I turn the smoothness up, everything will get much softer, much smoother, and this is probably why it's called CC Mr. Smoothie. If I really turn that up, we're just gonna get a bunch of colored blobs. Let me reset that back to default. And then down here we have the phase control and this just shifts the gradient remap around in a cycle. And we can change that cycle down here with the color loop. Right now it's set from sample A to sample B, but I could reverse that to B to A and it's basically inverting that gradient. Or I could change that to A, B, A, where it kind of bounces back and forth or B, A, B, either direction. So obviously just by moving these points around, you can create some really crazy transitions or you could apply this on top of footage or an animation without moving those point controls and see what happens. But let's say that I want to sample the colors from this layer and apply it to this photo. Well then we actually need to apply Mr. Smoothie to this effect and then we'll choose the photo as the flow layer. And now if I move my samples to the top and bottom of the layer, it will sample the colors prior to Mr. Smoothie but remap them to the pixel data in this photo, which isn't actually taking into account this Mr. Smoothie, so turning it on or off doesn't make a difference, and that's because I didn't choose effects and masks down here. Now if I change our property to something like saturation, we're gonna get something very similar to Colorama with the added smoothness control. And if I turn off my posterize, then it will just be a smooth gradient between all of those colors, and we'll have a lot more detail in the final look. Now, obviously you could change these colors to be whatever you want. You don't have to use the entire spectrum. We could use any one of these presets and it will remap the colors accordingly. It's a really interesting effect. It can be confusing at first, but once you understand how it's sampling these colors, you can create some pretty interesting results. But that's everything for CC Mr. Smoothie. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this tutorial, then check out the other ones here on my YouTube channel. And if you like my teaching style, then definitely check out my longer form content on Skillshare and School of Motion. And if you wanna support more tutorials like this one, check out my Patreon. You can find links for all that stuff in the description of this video.